Welcome to the unboxing and first impression review of the Oxton GA62028 Chinese automatic watch from the banggood.com website. As you can see, I've already opened the package, but I've placed the watch back in the waterproof outer bag to show how it was shipped. The order was placed on July 2nd, and the package arrived on my doorstep in Australia on the 19th of July, which makes 17 days in total. No paperwork in the bag. I'd also opened the protective wrapping, but taped it back up again so you can see how it was shipped. Packing is complete articles of nothing special, no big chance of damage in transit. No box, no paperwork, just a sturdy inner Ziploc bag. Not sure what the sticker indicates, as it doesn't match the model name. The colour of this watch is described on the website as Army Green, and it does have the overall feel of a military or a Flieger style watch. Only a branded hang tag to accompany this watch. Don't think this will be a collector's item though. There are no stickers to peel off this watch, only some sturdy cling film type material. Very first impressions are actually quite good. This is a budget Chinese made watch and it's not pretending to be anything else. The case feels very nice with crisp detail and well defined edges. Close up shots of the case show some neat lines and sharp edges. The shape flows flawlessly to the integrated lugs. We have an automatic mechanical movement as stated on the dial with only a date complication. The movement features hand winding. A quick set date and second hand hacking. This means the movement stops to allow accurate time setting. The dial is basic looking. It's a very simple plastic moulding, probably not even painted, but with some printed numerals and indices. The dial actually looks like a cheap toy. The movement is equally basic looking, unidirectional rotor that often spins off in the opposite direction. The strap has a logo marked Sway, which is presumably the manufacturer. It's also marked Genuine Leather, but not sure if the outer suede material is leather, it might just be the inner band that's actually leather. On the scales, this watch weighs 73 grams. Case width is 42mm, 13mm thick, 22mm between the lugs, which also means a 22mm strap width, 50mm lug to lug. 
I did try to get a loom shot by shining a UV light on the hands, but the hands lose their glow almost immediately. At first I thought the case was polished, but under closer examination there is some brushing. In hindsight I think the case was simply machined and there is very minimal of any finishing. Crown is a very simple moulded design, unsigned. This watch does not bear close examination. Handling and quality control was poor to ship an item with such a low finish quality. In the real world of the naked eye, however, the overall finish is almost acceptable if basic. Pity about the outer alignment date display, another example of the low quality control. But this is a very cheap watch. I paid $50.80 Australian, including shipping, which is £29 UK, €36 US and €32. Euro. Is this a perfect watch? No, definitely not. Not even perfect for the price. If you have a few Chinese watches and are looking for a military style design, then the Oxton is okay if basic. If you are looking for your first or only automatic mechanical watch, I would probably advise saving a little longer and spending about three times this amount on the very similar Seiko SNK or SNZG. Thanks for watching.